Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Aglas in Schools and this video will be covering exercise 2.2 of chapter fractions and decimals. In our previous exercise 2.1 we have already seen how actually we carry out basic additions and subtraction of fractions. In this video we will be talking about multiplication of fractions. So you can also see there is exercise 2.2 where I have highlighted two questions on my left side. Starting with question number one that says which of the drawings A to D shows 2 into 1 by 5 being the first part. Second is 2 into 1 by 2, third is 3 into 2 by 3 and fourth is 3 into 1 by 4. So we have four figures given to us as A, B, C, D. Now starting with first that is 2 into 1 by 5. 2 into something means actually we are adding it twice. So I'll say 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 is equal to 2 into 1 by 5, right? So can you see any of the figures where fifth part of five parts given to us, one is highlighted? Obviously, yes. Here we have fifth part of the five parts or one of the five parts highlighted. So this means one is one by five. And over here also it's one by five. So this is actually two by five, which is 2 into 1 by 5. So I can say here it's 2 into 1 by 5. So let me write over here with some other pen. Let's, let's take a black pen. So this is actually 2 into 1 by 5. So this is the answer. And I can write over here. It's D part that is answer. Now talking about 2 into 1 by 2. So here I have 2 into 1 by 2. That means actually 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. So can you see half half parts being highlighted? Yes, that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. That is actually 2 into 1 by 2. So that means B is the answer to second one. Now it's 3 into 2 by 3. So let me highlight here. 3 into 2 by 3 that means actually 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 can you see anything like this yes the part a 2 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 3 so that means the answer to third part is actually figure a and obviously last one we are only left with C part so answer is 3 part but let's see how we need to arrive at the C part also. So it's very simple you just need to write 3 into 1 by 4 as 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. So here we have 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. So the answer would be C 3 into 1 by 4. So this completes our question number 1. Moving on to question number two, which shows uh, some pictures A to C are given below. Tell which of them show 3 into 1 by 5 equal to 3 by 5. 2 into 1 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3. 3 into 3 by 4 is 2, 1 by 4. So it's very simple rather to attempt this kind of question. So you already have 3 into 1 by 5 disclosed as 3 by 5. So out of these figures, if you can just check which of the figures shows 3 into 1 by 5 that is actually 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 is there any such figure 1 by 5 1 by 5 1 by 5 yes we have the figure c as 1 by 5 1 by 5 1 by 5 so that is equal to 3 by 5 so here it's 3 by 5 so i can say answer is c now coming on to this was part 1 coming on to part 2 now so we have 2 into 1 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 so obviously it is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 so is there any such part obviously yes a part shows 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 so that is 2 by 3 so i can say part a is the answer to this coming on to question number 2 of 
and part 3 so it's 3 into 3 by 4 that is to be disclosed as to 1 by 4 so that means 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 so anything like this yes we have 3 by 4 3 by 4 3 by 4 and it should be disclosed as 2 into 1 by 4 so two complete pictures we have and one fourth is here so yes this is the answer to part 3 so B is the answer to part 3 now coming on to question number 3 that specifies you have to multiply the fractions so how multiplication is carried out and even we have to reduce it to the lowest form or we have to convert into a mixed fraction so the part 1 of this says 7 into 3 by 5 multiplication of fractions is very simple we just need to multiply the numerators so that is actually 7 into 3 whole divided by 5 so that is 21 by 5 so if you want to convert it into fixed fractions so that will be 4 4 1 by 5 part 2 4 into 1 by 3 so obviously we'll multiply the numerators so 4 by 3 or we can say it's uh, 1 1 by 3 part 3 part 3 says 2 into 6 by 7 so that is actually multiplying the numerators 2 into 6 divided by 7 so it's 12 by 7 and if converted into mixed fractions it's 1 5 by 7 part 4 part 4 says 5 into 2 by 9 so obviously which multiply 5 into 2 and divide it by 9 so it's 10 by 9 or we can say it's 1 1 by 9 part 5 it's 2 by 3 multiplied by 4 it's 2 into 4 by 3 so that's equal to 8 by 3 so 8 by 3 can be converted into 2 2 by 3 part 6 part 6 is 5 by 2 into 6 now this is not a fraction so either it is an option to me to convert this into a fraction or I can reduce it further so 2 1s are 2 3s are so it is actually 5 into 3 so 5 into 3 is equal to 15 is the answer part 7 part 7 says 11 into 4 by 7 so 11 into 4 by 7 is obviously you have to just multiply the numerators so 44 by 7 and when divided by so we get a mixed fraction of 6 2 by 7 coming on to part 8 part 8 of this says 20 into 4 by 5 now again this is not a fraction so what we can do is actually either reduce yes it's reducible so it's 4 so it's 4 into 4 that is 16 is the answer talking about part 9 so it's 13 into 1 by 3 so it's obviously 13 into 1 upon 3 so 13 by 3 so it's obviously 4 into 1 by 3 part 10 15 into 3 by 5 so again it can be reduced so it's 3 into 3 so 9 is the answer so this completes all 10 parts rather of answer 3 now talking about question number 4 question says shade 1 by 2 of the circles in the box 2 by 3 of the triangles in the box 3 by 5 of the scales in the box now the question is very simple the only thing is you have to figure it out how many things have to be encircled so when I say 1 by 2 of the circles in box I need to calculate how many total circles I have then I'll shade half of the total circles I have so here, here I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so i have 12 circles what is the half of 12 circles it's 1 by 2 of 12 so that's 6 so i will highlight 6 circles so it's simple calculation where you will be multiplying a fixed number with a fraction 
Now 2 by 3 of a triangles in the box. So how many triangles I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 triangles. So what is 2 by 3 of 9? You will say 6. So I will highlight 6 triangles. The next part says 3 by 5 of the squares in the box. So how many squares I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 boxes. So what I'll do? I will multiply it with the 15. So 5 1s are, 5 3s are, I have to highlight 9. So I will highlight 9. Now many students ask us how which box has to be highlighted. It's up to you. Guys, please do make sure you highlight only the exact number. It is not that which box to be highlighted and which not to be highlighted. So this is all for this video. Question number 5, 6, 7, 8 we will discuss in our next video. And in case if you have any doubt in the questions that we have discussed, please do write in the comment section below. Or you may reach us at aglasem.com where you will find the solutions already there.